somebody had requested a gothic style makeup look. I've done a gothic makeup look before, but this was years ago, but it was more of a gothic glam type of makeup look. What I'm actually wanting to do today is something like really true gothic. To my knowledge, okay? Take this tutorial with a pinch of salt. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So I did go into Pinterest this morning and I had a wee bit of a nosy at um, gothic style eye makeup looks especially. I'm also gonna try and do like the gothic peel base. Not too sure what I'm gonna do with my lips. So I think I've left out every black eyeliner that I own. <laughs> Don't really know where to start, but I think I'm gonna start on the eyes. I have a couple of palettes here I'm gonna use, Be Perfect Gravity Palette. And then I also have the Morphe CT Matte Essentials Palette. So I think I'm just gonna keep this one out for the black. Going on with the Be Perfect Cosmetics and Gravity Palette, first of all, I'm gonna take Tidal Wave, first of all. Just on a big fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna be buffing that just right within the crease. I'm gonna be doing this pretty roughly. I feel like with gothic makeup as well. Um, God, I don't wanna offend anybody either. But I think gothic makeup is kind of like undone, but done makeup, if that makes sense. Also gonna bring it up to the front of the brow. As I say, I've left out like, a couple of liquid liners here. This is a new one that I got from She Glam. This is actually quite an interesting one. This is the Pro Flex Angled Eyeliner. It's obviously black. <laughs> it's not going to be pink. But, oh look at me, YouTuber. But, as you can see, it's in an angle. And look how fine that we tip it. It does not look unreal, actually. It looks really, really good. But because I'm going to be doing a really big wing, I'm going to be wanting a tip that's going to be a wee bit bigger. And it's going to be just kind of overall quicker in the process to actually do. I feel like this eyeliner would be really good just to do like a nice wee petite wing and just a wee bit of something. This is new from What's Up Beauty and this is the liquid eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally just what it's called. So this is by the Egyptian Queen collection. This is just new and it's in the shade Kemet. So this is going to be the one I'm going to be using because it's obviously bigger, foam tip, still nice and flexible. So we're going to get really nice sharp lines. And have you just noticed that I haven't got my eyelashes on anymore? <laughs> Oh my god, what a situation. So if you've seen Friday's video, how I do my like eyelashes. Um, sorry, I was really trying to speak there while doing wing liner. So Friday I had uploaded my how I do my like lash extensions, fake lashes, cluster lashes at home. And they looked really, really good. Like I wore them on Saturday, everything was grand, but you see, come Sunday. I had to get them off. I think I had mentioned they were from Shein. They just were not comfortable whatsoever. <laughs> going onto the Morphe palette, I'm gonna take the darkest gray. And this is why I've done my eyes before my base makeup, so that I can be quite rash if I need to but I'm literally just going to use kind of like smudgy pattern motions just over the edges of the eyeliner in the center here honestly I feel like I'm just winging it I'm pretty sure I messed up the eyeliner on this eye, but oh well. I'm gonna try and bring a lot of that darkness kind of like up into the inner crease as much as I can. Of course, just a wee bit of blend. Just waiting for my lashes to dry, I've actually DIY'd these lashes. They are three lashes combined into one. I've used them before and they're really nice and flared at the outer corner, but while I let them to dry, or like the flash glue go tacky, I'm gonna put this ColourPop pencil in my waterline. 
So Stanley is officially in her big girl collar. So cute. I bought her like a bigger collar quite a wee while ago. And then I said to myself, I'm not gonna put her in her grown up collar until after her first birthday. So it was her first birthday there a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I finally put her on it. Oh, <laughs> you're so heavy. No. No pets. Oh no. I can't move now. Oh pet. You can't even see it. Oh there you can. It's a really nice like velvet. Show everybody your collar. Oh no. <laughs> My lashes! Stanley! Oh my god! Stanley! Come here! They were stuck to her tail. Is this really gross if I use these lashes now that they were stuck to her tail? Ew! You know, they're not even that hairy. <laughs> oh God. Right, I'm gonna to have to actually glue them again. The skin is gonna be really, really easy because I obviously done my research a wee bit with gothic makeup, especially with the complexion. Obviously I feel like gothic glam or gothic makeup in the eyes is quite easy. You know, just kind of be quite graphic with your liquid liner your grey and white and black eyeshadows, cool tones, etc. But obviously with complexion products, I'm obviously wanting it to be quite pale. Not purposely pale, but just not too much bronze or colour going on. I've two concealers here, the Dior Forever Skin Corrector and the HMB Cosmetics Airbrush Concealer in the shade SF0. Dior is 0M, although the Dior concealer is a wee bit darker. Wow, it's definitely so much darker. So I feel like I'm just gonna be using the Dior concealer over my face as a foundation, let's just say. And then I might go in a wee bit with the HMB Cosmetics Concealer. I could essentially apply this just all over the skin or just a wee bit under the eyes, forehead, chin, nose, may spot conceal, but I don't like to apply a lot of this concealer all over my face because it is quite full coverage, which is fine. <laughs> um, but I do find that it can be quite drying all over the skin. So I just like to have it in certain places. Whereas this concealer is just a wee bit more skin loving and skin like and a wee bit more hydrating and fresh feeling on the skin. I don't know whether it's just my lighting but damn. <laughs> I am looking ghostly. I don't even think I need it, but I'm going to apply a wee bit of concealer anyway. I'm going to blend out the tiniest wee bit and keep it like that. Like, keep it not completely blended out so it has um, some drying time. And then I find this in my collection. I'm going to use a wee bit of this. It's in the shade Hello There. And I think I initially bought this for my lips. But I don't think I've used it on my lips. I don't like these, um, like the bronzing shades on my face, but I thought I'd just try it for the sake of the video anyway. And you never know, I might quite like it, but we'll try it anyway. I could never get around these from Made by Mitchell. Like I love the blur shades that are to be used as blush, but never the bronzing shades. Could never get around to using them or liking them. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was going to use a cream blush, but I'm going to stick to my guns and just kind of leave it as it is because I'm kind of liking how it looks and it is looking very goth like. But I was going to use the new Pokemon and Colourpop blush. This is Hypnosis, and the only reason I lifted this to maybe try it is because of the colour. I don't know why, but I always. Purple, 
what am I trying to say? <laughs> but if I was to add a pop of colour into a gothic style makeup look, it would be purple. Whether it's on the eyes or the lips or on the complexion somewhere, it would be purple. And I don't know why. Talking about Pokemon though, I got the whole collection from Colourpop. And tomorrow, stay tuned. I'll have a tutorial up. Now time to set, I'm going to set my entire face. I usually only set my T-zone. And my under eyes, around my mouth, my lines, chin, whatever. But I'm going to set my entire face. I might apply a wee bit of highlight just on my nose at the very end, but I'm wanting my face to be, you know, completely, completely matte. Oh, this feels so wrong. <laughs> I hate putting powder all over my face. But I said it's probably because that was just atrocious. Okay. What have we got left for the, for the face? Um, as I said there, I want to use a wee bit of highlight, just a bit of flexitarian on the nose. Well, I put a bit of flexitarian on my face. Do you know, this highlight, once upon a time, <laughs> was my thing. But I just don't feel it anymore. It's still such a beautiful highlight. And if you're somebody that has really pale skin and you struggle to find a highlight, that has like the perfect undertone and it's just overall, oh, oh, overall the perfect shade for your skin tone. Definitely try a Flexitarian from Colourpop. It's so, so nice. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the lip combo I done yesterday. As I say, did I mention at the start of the video? I'm not one to do black lips. Of course you can do black lips to really make this authentically goth, but no. <laughs> That honey is where I draw the line. So I'm gonna do the lip combo that I done yesterday. So it's the Colourpop Lip Pencil in the shade Hop Do. The So Glassy Lip Gloss from Colourpop. the bum scratches. Why are you making that noise? Is that collar too tight for you? Come here. I think it's two fingers. Hold on. Oh shit, I think that collar is too tight. Oh, no. I might actually take the She Glam liquid liner because I'm going to do some inner corner pointy work. <laughs> This one is bigger than this one. But this one's perfect. Does this mean that I have to make this one bigger and risk ruining it? Damn it. So what do we think? This was fun actually. Still not sure about the lips, but I think overall it kind of works. Of course, leave me down below what other makeup looks, makeup tutorials you want me to do. I think it's all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.